Hi guys, so today we're having a look at the Sleek Lip Dose Lipsticks, or Lip Clicks. So unlike your traditional lipstick, you push this button on the bottom to bring up the product. There are 12 shades, they're 5 99 and you get 1.16 grams of product. On the website it says it provides precise applica sorry, precision application for a fuss-free bold lip. The creamy full coverage formulation combines matte finish emollients with soft focus and texturising powders for a mousse light finish and even colour dispersal. One click, one dose. So, yeah, so I've got two of the colours, but I'll just clear who I'm chatting to on Facebook. Um, so that gives you an idea of the shades there. I've got one called Boss Mode. Which I haven't even clicked up yet. Whee! Which is a soft rosy pink. And then I've also got Wait Your Turn, which is this guy. So we'll be doing a wear test today. And I've got an application section, so let's see how that went. Right, so let's get these on. Um, I don't know why they sound a little bit rattly. I guess the mechanism's a tiny bit loose. I am going to work today, so uh, which one? Which do you, I kind of still want to go for this one, so I'm going to be bad and I'm going to use wait your turn. Um, if it ends up a bit dark, we'll just lighten it up. So with these, you push on the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's just starting to peak up. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I would say that's enough to get it. So in terms of the cap itself, you can see that there is a bit of kind of breathing space before you'd be smooshing the lipstick anyway. So that's cool. And it's got this teardrop shape, which should make the lip line nice and accurate. As you can just kind of go like that. And like that. And then after that it actually isn't that great because you can't see where the edge of the lipstick is. So I'm going to push it up just a little bit further. Um, feels beautifully silky. Okay, yeah, I like that a lot. I'm glad you didn't wait your turn. <laughs> that is beautiful. So, yep. Yeah. I'm wearing this today. I'm not taking it with me because no touch-ups. It is just about half eight. I'm about to pull my clothes on and go to work and I will see you guys at some point for a check-in. Right, so back for a check-in. It's quarter past one. So we've got a little bit of the butthill lip effect going on, just fading towards the inside of my mouth. And you can also see when we zoom that the remaining colour is a bit patchy and the lip line is not as sharp as it was. I'm not going to touch up right now because I am going to eat my lunch first and see how it survives that. Right, so not looking particularly worse after my sandwich but I'm still going to do a little touch up. So, on my way to work I read the directions for this and it says that I should be using the thin bit at the top to line my top lip and the chubby curvy bit at the bottom for my bottom lip, so apparently I done it wrong. So let's try their way. That does work easier. Um. It's 
gone a tiny bit patchy, I would say, just now. Just because it was feeling, my lips were feeling a tiny bit dry. So, that's a bit of a bummer. But I need to go back to work, so it's tough. It's staying a tiny bit patchy. So if anybody's wondering, it is now quarter to two. So we will see how long this second application lasts for. Right, so I'm back for a check-in. It is just after six. This has been on for slightly more than four hours. As you can see, we do have a bit of wear and the lip line isn't exactly great either. Um, zoom in. You can see it's fairly uneven and worn away. Um, they blended that in. Makes a nice stained effect. Quite a strong stain admittedly, but still, stained effect. So, let's draw everything together with these. So, they're six pounds, but 1.16 grams. By contrast, a Colourpop lipstick has 3.5 grams. None of the other lipsticks that are sitting around me really have weight on them, which is a bit of a pest, because um, I want to compare it to more than one thing. But this is the one that I'm reaching. Oh, actually. Inglot 4.5. So, it is a small portion that you're getting in here for £6. So based on that, it's not really quite as cheap as you would think, or not as affordable as you would think. Um, the mechanism I do think is quite cool. Um, I was slightly starting to worry about, you know, what if you've got it in your bag and it just keeps clicking itself up? But it is quite firm, you know, so it's not it's not going to happen by accident. It's it's just not. So that's not really a concern. My lips are fairly comfortable. Um, you don't notice when you're just going around, but if you put the two lips together, you can feel a bit of that texture that feels a little bit drier than is perhaps my favourite, um, but that's what you get if you've got a lip colour that you want to last for more than a few hours pretty much. That's my personal opinion on lipstick, it's a balancing act of you're either going to be comfortable or it's going to last you a reasonable amount of time. So if you ever find one that does both in one and lasts for hours, you've hit the jackpot and you're fairly lucky, right? Don't be wrong, there's one or two out there that can do it, but not every day and not for me. So, I think these are cool. With the amount of product you're getting, they're not that affordable. And I think they are a reasonable balance. I think being able to go, you know, three, four hours, not looking like you desperately need to touch up your makeup is a good balance in my world. It just depends what you're up to. If you are I don't know, doing some kind of job where you never have a chance to touch up your makeup, then no, probably not for you. Um, but I like the colour range. Uh, I didn't even smell these. I smell absolutely nothing. So if you don't like lip products with a smell, these might be good for you. So overall, eh, I'm kind of on the fence. I do like them. I will use them. I don't know if I would buy more of them. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you. And I hope you have an awesome weekend lined up. Bye.